drug bag things, which I'm probably uh, most known for. I guess from when I first moved here, I never seen the, all the variety and color and patterns. I had this idea, probably a stupid idea, to make a quilt and um, wanted to find enough material to actually make a quilt, like a six by eight foot piece. And in the process of trying to do that, sort of following them like breadcrumbs through to wherever they might be. And I found them to be in housing projects, public parks primarily, because they stay in the grass. And I could actually go and sort of harvest them in the, in the blades of grass. I would be able to pick them out. And then I uh, would sort of compose them. They all became specific to the areas they were from. This place has a lot more of the dirty bags, so it's probably like a, a public park. Whereas this one's sort of different. These came out of someone's window. So they're, they're all, all very specific. This is uh, around 13th Street and Avenue D. And I keep revisiting this spot, trying to, to get them all, like see, what, see what's happening, see what's changing. And that became one sort of main focus of my, my work for the first couple of years that I was here, before kind of moving on to uh, everything else, these sculptures. I kind of moved on to try and make um, more sort of straight up flags. Uh, this is the first one I made of this series and it's going to uh, a show at a gallery called Heike Kutze in Vienna uh, opening May 4th. And there, I was just sort of looking for something like bringing all these disparate materials. Of course I love found things so whatever whatever sort of comes my way I'll take. And this is the first time I let myself entirely go and I just want to be free and be in the moment and, and uh, I mean it feels, I guess it's abstraction. I'm always looking at signage uh, in New York City and, and elsewhere, and the stickers are these kind of like, you know, lesions on, on flags, which I thought were interesting, and the way they can be uh, kind of put on there that seem these sort of like collaborations, I guess, with, with the rest of the city. And I've been playing with the, these stickers and making them into patches. Like if the, if the street sign becomes fabric, you know, perhaps the, uh, the, the stickers of a fabric street sign are patches. So I've been playing with that a lot, trying to figure out what that means and make these sort of happenstantial um, collages, I guess. I've, I've been playing a lot with the American flags in general. It's, it's so much part of who I am and it's, you know, it's everywhere all, all, all the time. I want to add some sort of you know, Indian elements and, and all kinds of things. This is like a, some fabric I actually put out on a scaffolding and this is mold marks that have, that have just been there, it's sort of been accruing this history um, and, and density, I guess, of, of seasoning, as, as they say, with like old wood or something. I, I want to break it down, entirely shred it and, and reconstitute it, you know, vomit it back out or something. that I create, it's meant to be like an archive clean room. All the, uh, the computer-aided embroidery uh, and, and basically all the, there's some drug bag pieces in here. This is another from that series uh, in front of that, that apartment. These ones are just called paraphernalia. They're not from specific locations, but they're things that I've found, uh, you know, often at parties or, or wherever I've been, raves or something like a, a bracelet. You know, if the control bracelets just to get into like Webster Hall or something. The ephemera of, of a good time or something. Uh, this is another uh, full piece called Philly Clouds. And they're all these uh, Philly uh, blunt wrappers. They're the bands on cigars. I mean, when uh, in my sort of youth, uh, I would ride my bicycle into bad parts of LA to find graffiti murals or go down the, uh, I guess they're uh, irrigation tunnels like off the LA River. Uh, Bologna Creek or something. There's some of these tunnels where all the, the water runoff goes and there's all these graffiti pieces there and I'd be listening to Urban Dance Squad on the headphones and go down there and be all sketched out and take pictures with disposable cameras of these pieces and I think it's a similar practice. So go go to these places which I don't really know, have no, no real reason to be there uh, and, and just check out something that uh, you know, I'm sort of vicariously getting off on. Them. 